Good morning guys, so it is currently 4.30 in the morning. Uh, me and my mom are about to leave to go to Colorado, so we have a nine hour drive ahead of us. I need to wake up because I have um, to start the drive. And yeah guys. Let's see what's in here. Mom's stuff. Wow. So now I'm waiting. My mom got up 10 minutes after we're supposed to leave, which is not at all rare. So yeah, now it's just time to wait very early in the morning. Yeah. You good, mama? Okay guys, the drive is about to begin. I've got it first, we've got coffee, and it's now six in the morning. We're already an hour and a half behind, but it's all good, let's go. Okay, so it's now 10 o'clock. I've been driving What's this that? whole time. She decided to bring up a very, very stressful subject, so that was great. Kind of completely killed my mood. I was my gonna try to make like a nice, fun video, but now I'm kind of annoyed. Mine. So it's I'm just trying to not vibe. let it annoy me. As I say in all my videos, you can't let other people well, bother you. Nice but it does happen. Older person. It does happen. I do get bothered. I'm not always happy, guys. But yeah. Actually, no, I know that, but it's like, that it's like if like you're dancing funnest. and having fun and then all someone just like smacks down like a big rock and they're like, so let's that, get in. Wait a minute, that is not true. That is now so I'm going to move true. this again. That is not true. That is Cut true. It out. Well, as you can see, it's still a controversy. No, it but, doesn't need to be. I'm but on a completely different note, guys, um, I did on my Instagram the other day ask you guys to ask me questions. So um, I have a bunch of questions here that I'm going to answer and my mom will probably answer with me too, I assume. And yeah, Am guys. Am I allowed to? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like that. How do you manage your time while having your own YouTube channel, your personal training app, and such? Um, so it's pretty much just all. She's insane. That's how she does it. <laughs> she's. No, I call her Supergirl. <laughs> Thank she's you. She's awesome. She's my role model. <laughs> Woo! Follow her. She's going places. I'm telling you. Thank you. The main trick for me is just scheduling. I like to always schedule the night before um, what I'm going to do the next day or at least what I need to accomplish. So then when I wake up, I just immediately like, okay, I need to do this. I'm going to get this done rather than kind of just floating through the day because then it's so easy to um, have everything pile up. So that's what I like to do and that's how I manage all my stuff. I hate that, how you can't play music if you're... I know, okay. kid, my turn. What's your favorite subject in college? Don't like any of the subjects. <laughs> However, probably math. Except it's kind of funny because I only had to take one math cl math class for my major, and I'm already done with it. So now it's just a bunch of classes I don't like. Please so turn I'm next right. Great. How can I lose the last pounds of weight mainly for my legs and love handles? The last few pounds are usually just always what you're eating related. So I'll make sure to dial in your nutrition, and then of course maintain your workouts and such, and just keep working hard. The last few pounds are the hardest ones to get rid of, so it's going to take time and consistency, and just stay determined. And Motivated and yeah. All over the road. <laughs> I'm having trouble keeping the camera still. Yeah, it's only 125. So it's so hard to have a smooth ride. Okay. Fave healthy snacks and bars. Um bars, RX bars, I like those. Um they're just pure ingredients, so they're good. And then but my fave healthy snack overall is definitely just fruit. I love, love, love for it. Worst injury ever. Um, I broke my femur bone when I was four years old. So that was definitely the worst one. I was riding a dirt bike and I completely snapped it in half. Broke the hardest bone in my body to break. <laughs> Does that give me cool credits? Laser hair removal. That's all it says. Um, <laughs> it's I, awesome. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much laser hair removal. Yeah, I've been doing it. I'm like halfway through the sessions or something. But uh, yeah, not 
to be gross, not to give too much information, but shaving sucks. And especially being someone that's like in dance clothes or bikinis and such a lot, or just let alone, I live in a very hot place. It sucks having to shave, so yeah, I'm just gonna make it so I don't have to shave. Best friend tag, I'm assuming I'd probably make it with her, even though we were just completely fighting, but it's but that's okay. What makes you best, that's what makes you best friends, yep. keep it real. What's your favorite thing about your app? My favorite thing about the app is that it's customizable to each person, meaning it's not just like um, you go onto the app and everyone has all the same information. People can message me, people can enter their nutrition logs, their photos, um, notes, messages, just it's all very custom. So it's really like someone has their own software to focus in on their workouts, nutrition and such rather than it just being like, hey, here are your workouts. Have fun, good luck. I actually can interact and guide you guys. So that's my favorite thing about it. Nutrition advice for teenage girl athlete. Just focus on eating foods naturally produced by the earth. That's the biggest thing. You don't need to try diets. You don't need to be super strict. Eat intuitively and focus on foods naturally produced by the earth. If you're filling your body with foods naturally produced by the earth, foods that our bodies were actually made to be fueled off of, you're going to be getting everything that you need, all the nutrients, energy, and such. And then if you also pair it with intuitive, intuitive of eating then you're just getting everything that you need and nothing extra from your body so you're just going to have optimal health how to deal with liking a guy who has a girlfriend anonymous please so blah 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 <laughs> um yeah that's a very crappy situation i myself have never been in that situation so i can't really give you um that great of advice but main thing i just say focus on yourself if it's meant to be it will happen eventually Correct. don't let it consume your life trying to like focus on this boy yet he's already with another girl focus on yourself and if it's meant to be it will happen <laughs> how to stay motivated to be fit healthy for dance um that's a great question and remember how much <laughs> remember how much better you will feel even just like pay attention to how you're eating, how you're feeling your body, and then how you feel in the studio. I remember when I was younger, you know, you don't really notice, like it doesn't make a difference, but then when I started getting older, I would have days where I just like eat really crappy food that gave my body no nutrition, and then I would get into the studio and I would just feel completely terrible. I would have no energy, I'd be so exhausted, my muscles would be like crampy, I wouldn't be able to pick up the combos and everything. I just did not feel good, so then as soon as I realized like, whoa, feeling my body properly makes such a big difference, I was like, okay, this makes sense, and that's how I stayed motivated to um, feel my body properly, stay healthy, fit, and such while dancing. And then pretty much, you don't need to be worried about being fit if you're already dancing so much. You weigh yourself. I don't really weigh myself, however, uh, if I'm like trying to lose weight or something, I will weigh myself because the scale does not lie. And um, yeah, one thing though I highly don't suggest doing is if you're looking to like tone your body up and such and you see in the mirror that it's transforming and you like the positive benefits, don't go weigh yourself and then get depressed if the scale does not show you what you want to see. Because if you were just looking in the mirror and you felt confident and you saw the results, then that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what number's on the scale because it just may be simply muscle weighs more than fat, so you got your fat replaced with muscle, blah, blah, blah. So um, yes, I weigh myself every once in a while. I think it's a good thing if you're trying to lose weight for the scale does not lie. However, if you're trying to or so replace fat with muscle, don't freak out what the scale says. This question literally just says cellulite and small boobs. So it's not really a question, so I'm assuming you just want advice on it or something. Um, I have small boobs. You just make them work. <laughs> uh, not really anything you can change unless you're gonna go under and get boob job, but yeah, just accept it. Push them up if you want to. Overall for cellulite, just focus on eating healthy, exercising and such, and the cellulite will just go away as you get fitter and leaner and such if you need to lose weight and such. However, um, do remember cellulite is a part of people's lives. Some people just have it in their genetics, so don't let it fully consume you and make you feel unconfident and such. If you're doing everything right for your body, it's going to be at the best possible self. Tips for leaning down. Work out consistently, however, the biggest thing is eating. Eat intuitively, eat clean. Like I keep saying over and over again, I feel like that's how I'm answering every single question. Just overall, guys, feeling your body properly, eating healthy with consistent working out, there's really nothing that can go wrong and your body's just going to be at its leanest, most toned possible. And then also, of course, you have to be careful with what workouts you're doing. Um, 
you check out my great, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. You have, yours are amazing. Thank you. Check out my YouTube channel. Every single workout on my channel will not at all bulk you. It's scientifically impossible for them to bulk. Specifically, make my workouts for the purpose of leaning, toning, and strengthening the body, not bulking it. <laughs> How can you eat healthy the whole year? Anyway, you're beautiful. Love you all. I love you, and thank you so much. Um, Overall, trust me guys, I'm not perfect. I don't eat perfect all year round. She can vouch for that. Um, she's amazing at it. She is so good at it. Well, everyone's gonna have their ups and downs. I have my ups and downs. I don't eat perfectly healthy all the time. As long as the majority of your um, diet, of your nutrition is healthy, then you're good. Don't punish yourself if you have something bad every here and there. We're humans, especially all of us. Um, majority of my viewers are younger. We're like 18, 20, that range. So it's gonna happen. We're gonna have our bad days or bad moments. Whatever, it's life, just go with it. How do I get a six pack without going to the gym? That is the next question. Uh, girl, work out at home, do abs at home, eat Easy, clean, yeah. done. Yeah, you don't need a gym to be in shape. It, does, it doesn't work like that. You gym can do anything at home. Gym. Okay, I'm done with questions. I think I've answered majority of them that were actually like good questions. Guys, thank you so much for asking questions. And yeah, comment down below if you want us to do like a full Q&A and such. I'm sorry if this has been very shaky. My arm is painfully hurting sorry, from I holding would, up sorry, and <laughs> the road is super I'm bumpy. Sorry. But um, yeah, now we're gonna continue driving for mm -hmm. four more hours. Woo! Yes, we call me up, my mom is swerving! I'm desperate. Oh, I'm like, man, man. Not desperate for you to have a boyfriend. Don't have boyfriends, they're a pain in the ass. Comment Just down wait, below. You know? Hi for me. <laughs> well, mom, look at all the beautiful hills. Um, I'm not telling you where we are just because of safety reasons especially since I'm posting every day and um, yeah guys make sure to stay tuned so that you can see what we're doing daily and we're gonna be making some fun videos here so yeah guys I love you please like subscribe turn on post notifications I'm out of breath from the high elevation I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow ah. <laughs>